Entaro Adun, Executor. I am Judicator Aldaris. I have been sent by the Conclave to serve and counsel you. The former Executor, Tassadar, was commanded to halt the Zerg progress in the Terran Sector by burning the infested human worlds. Unfortunately, he disregarded his orders and attempted to destroy the Zerg while sparing the Terrans from the flame. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. The Conclave has dictated that our first priority is to strengthen our defenses. You must reinforce our outpost in Antioch and make certain that the province does not fall to the Zerg. Your old comrade, Praetor Phoenix, will meet you there and assist you in this endeavor. I am needed, Mitora. Not I. Initiated. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. in the last Zerg attack, and we had no resources with which to replace them. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Upgrade of the Green Team complete. I had intended to construct photon cannons here for defense, but without probes we could not do so. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. across hundreds of worlds together. I never imagined that we would be fighting on Ayer. 
The Zerg are indeed worthy foes. Antaro Adun, Executor. Your defense of Antioch has restored my faith in the Templar caste. I admit the Tassadar's desertion had shaken my faith. Indeed, Alvarez. I would hope that the Judicator would put more faith in their Templar brethren. Tassadar! Where have you Be been? Be silent, Judicator. There is no time to waste. I have much to tell you. As you know, the Zerg vanished after the fall of the Terran world of Tarsonis. And though the Conclave bid me return home, I was compelled to remain. A powerful psionic call drew my attention to a remote barren world named Char. Apparently the call was answered by others as well. For upon Char, I encountered those who were once our brethren. The Dark Templar. Consorting with the Fallen Ones is heresy! Enough! Hear me, Executor. For I have learned much from the Dark Templar prelate, Zeratul. The Overmind controls its minions through agents called Cerebrates. Strike down the Cerebrates, and the swarms will surely fall. Executor, Tassadar may be right. If you can keep the Zerg occupied, my force may be able to penetrate their perimeter and slay the Abomination. I pray we can trust you, Tassadar. Already I can sense the taint of the Fallen One's influence on your mind. You must return to Ayr at once. My concern is for the safety of Ayr, not the judgments of the Conclave. I will return when the time is right. <laughs> Your warriors have engaged the enemy. erratic.
Executor, I bring news most dire. The Cerebrate that we thought we had killed has arisen again. The creature's battered form was reincarnated despite the considerable damage we inflicted upon it. Even now, the Cerebrate drives its brood in preparation for their next offensive. It is as I feared. It was folly to believe Tassadar could be trusted. The Conclave will not soon forget his wanton betrayal. Nevertheless, we must stand resolute. For attacking defenseless Cerebrates is not the way of true Kotos warriors. We shall overcome the entire swarm with the might and the fury that is our heritage. Executor, we shall lead our main strike force to the province of Sion, which has fallen to the Zerg. It's time the Zerg felt the wrath of the Sons of Ayr. Prayer to Phoenix will remain here with a small detachment and guard Antioch from any further assaults. Hadun be with you, Executor. Bring swift death to the enemies of Ayr. <laughs> Your warriors have engaged the enemy. 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 My life for I My life for I My life for I engaged the enemy. My life for I am waiting for My life for I my life for Ayer! The warriors have engaged the enemy. My life for Ayer! My life for Ayer! My life for Ayer! Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I have returned. I have returned. I have returned. The warriors have engaged the enemy. My life for I successful. My life for I successful. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. My life for I have returned. I have returned. My life for I have returned. My life for I have returned. Warriors have engaged the enemy. My life for I have Standing by. You have not enough minerals. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. The warriors have engaged the enemy. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Antioch is under attack by overwhelming Zerg forces. Praetor, you must hold your position for as long as possible. Fight on, brave Phoenix, and know that the gods watch over you. Entaro Adun.
Executor, I know that you were reluctant to leave Iyer in this dark hour, and that you still grieve for the loss of your comrade, Phoenix. But remember that he lived and died as a Templar. He has reached the Kala's end. There is no greater glory than that. We Judicator are called to look beyond such matters, to ensure the safety and future of our people. It is not the Zerg, but the rogue Tassadar, who represents the greatest threat to us now. If he is allowed to spread the Dark Templar's tainted influence to Ire, all will be lost. We will find him and bring him to judgment. Tassadar claimed that this world was abandoned by the Zerg just prior to the invasion of Ayr. Yet I still sense a lingering darkness here. Be prepared for anything, Executor. If there are still Zerg on this world, then they must surely know of our arrival. <laughs> have engaged the enemy. I have come to arrest you, and bring you home to Aya to stand trial. Arrest me? Aya burns at the touch of the Zerg. You travel all this way to arrest me? Don't let it get to you, man. This happened to me once. Who is this human, Tassadar? The name's Jim Raynor, pal. And I won't be talked down to by anybody. Not even a Protoss. Amusing. Tassadar, your taste in companions grows ever more inexplicable. Executor, prepare to take Tassadar into Executor, custody. Executor, wait. I do not know what they have told you about me. But what I have done, I have done for Ire. Help me find Zeratul and his Dark Templar. They alone can defeat the Overmind Cerevets. Once we have won, I shall gladly submit myself to the judgment of the Conclave. Unthinkable. You presume that we would side with the Dark Ones as you have? You have gone quite mad, Tassadar. You shall speak of them with respect, Aldaris. Executor, there is much that I can explain to you. If only you'll help me find Zeratul. You think as I do. Your 
Executor. Now let us find Zeratul and speed our way home. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you are our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now, you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race of salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the Prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless, for the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ire. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased.
Hey, Sergeant! Sarge! Hey! You will immediately tell me why you have called me from my desk, Private! Protoss unit, Sarge! Coming through the South Pass! It looks broke! Kill it! Executor, I sense that Zeratul and his brethren are close by, but I have been unable to make contact with them. I fear they may be in grave danger. We must scour this area immediately and find the Dark Templar, lest they be overcome by the Zerg. <laughs> Yes, Executor. For Adun. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Of course. Tarakala. Warriors have engaged the enemy. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Teleportation field activated. Confirm. Your Tarakala! have engaged the enemy.
Your warriors have engaged the enemy. It shall be done. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Of course. Engage the enemy. Torah Kalam! Of course. The warriors have engaged the enemy. Shall be done. For Adun. Greetings, Dark One. I have come to bring you home. Greetings to you, mighty Tazadar. I knew that you would not forsake us. For in the time that you have spent with us, you have learned to value our ways and our methods. You have learned to channel our dark power as well as that of your masters. And thus you alone have found completeness beyond the scope of the Kala. But, I fear that the Conclave in its pride could never bring itself to welcome outcasts such as we. Outcasts though you may be, it is your vision and courage that may yet save our homeworld from the swarm. I beg of you, Zeratul, return with us to Ayr. Though they are petty and have in ignorance cursed your kind for generations, help me save our people. Since our banishment long ago, we have never failed in our responsibility to Ayur. Though it shall cause us great pain to see our homeland once more, we shall return with you, Tassadar. We will do what we can. Greetings, Executor. And greetings to you, Tazadar. I am overjoyed to see you both return home in this dark hour. The Zerg have redoubled their efforts, and it Phoenix. seems... It can't be. The Executor told me of how you fell before the Zerg. How is it that you live and breathe? <laughs> well, after my unfortunate defeat, my ruined body was recovered by our brethren. I now reside within the cold robotic shell of a Dragoon. Old friend, would that this never came to pass. Nonsense! There is no shame in defeat, so long as the spirit is unconquered, and I am still able to serve Aya to a degree. But enough of this. There is much you both need to know. You have been branded as traitors by Alderis and the Conclave. Even now they seek to arrest you and execute the Dark Templar of Zeratul. I never believed that they would go so far. In the face of total annihilation, they still cling to their failing traditions. Yes, and that makes them all the more dangerous. They hunt you even now, Tassadar. And though I damn myself by doing so, I shall stand by you till the end. In Tarawadun, noble Phoenix. Executor. It seems that if our world is to live, we must protect the Dark Templar from our own brethren. Although it pains me greatly, not even the Conclave shall stand in our way. Executor, you and the traitor Tassadar are to cease your resistance and surrender yourselves to the judgment of the Conclave. We will take the outlaw Zeratul into custody and deal with him as is written by the Kala's law. Flee back to your masters, Aldaris, and huddle with them in darkness, for your actions shall set us all unto the Zerg.
engage the enemy. Slaughtering one another is more than I can stand. Though I fear you would doom us all, Alderis, I surrender myself to the Conclave. End Taro Adun, Executor. Don't give up the fight. Tassadar of the Templar, by your actions you have severed yourself from the mercy of your brethren. You refuse to destroy the Terran worlds as was commanded. You have questioned time and time again the sacred will of the Conclave, and you have abandoned your home world in its darkest hour. Most grievous of all is that you have allied yourself with the blasphemous Dark Ones and learn to utilize their profane powers in tandem with our own. What say you, O fallen Templar? Aldaris, I submit myself to the Conclave's judgment. But know this, given the same choices again, I would surely have made them. I have sacrificed all that our world might live. I have sullied my honor. I have discarded my rank and standing. I have even broken our most ancient traditions. But never think that I would for one moment regret my actions. For I am Templar, and above all else, I have sworn to protect our homeworld till the end. find Tassadar and secure his release from the Judicator before they can execute him for treason. Without him, I fear there is no way to defeat the Zerg and their Overmind. Zeratul and his Dark Templar have vanished, leaving us to fend for ourselves. I wonder if Tassadar was mistaken to have put his trust in them. We are receiving a transmission from Captain Raynor's command ship. This is Raynor. I'd like to help if I can. Tassadar laid it on the line for me and my crew on Char. I'd like to repay the debt. Besides, 
I'm a long way from home, surrounded by hostile aliens. I've got to do something. Then you shall, bold human. You shall. is absolute. Make peace with Adun. Stay thy hand, Adjudicator. The stewards of Tassadar shall not fall while the Dark Templar live. Call off your guards and stand aside, and you may yet live to see another moonrise. I will not be addressed so by one so devoid of the Kala's light. You and your vile brethren shall die with these traitors. Are you truly so blinded by your vaunted religion that you cannot see the fall ahead of you? Your conclave believes that they are winning this war, but all they have succeeded in doing is helping the Overmind to win. What could you possibly know about our designs, Blasphemer? You speak of knowledge, Judicator. You speak of experience. I have journeyed through the darkness between the most distant stars. I have beheld the births of negative sounds and borne witness to the entropy of entire realities. Unto my experience, Alderus, all that you have built here on Iora is but a fleeting dream. A dream from which your precious conclave shall awaken finding themselves drowned in a greater nightmare. We shall see. In Taro Adun, Executor. My gratitude to you for having secured my release knows no bounds. By all the gods, we may win yet. The time has come to let loose the fury of the Dark Templar! Zeratul, perhaps the time has come to tell our friends of the foe we face. Indeed. When I slew the Cerebrit Onchar, I touched briefly with the essence of the Overmind. In that instant, my mind was filled with its thoughts. And I tell you now, our worst fears have come true. The Zerg were indeed created by the ancient Zelnaga. The same beings that empowered us in our infancy. But the Overmind grew beyond their constraints and has at last come to finish the experiments they began so long ago. So you see, my friends, 
We fight not only to save Ire, but all creation. If we fall to the Zerg, then the Overmind will run rampant throughout the stars, consuming all sentience, all life. It is up to us to put an end to this madness, once and for all. Our forces shall engage the primary Zerg Hive Clusters in an attempt to weaken their defenses. Once their numbers have thinned out, Zeratul and his companions can infiltrate the Clusters and assassinate the Cerebrates. Adun willing, the Cerebrates' deaths will distract the Overmind long enough for us to assault it directly. <laughs> You address me. Entaro Adun. We feel your presence. What sound calls? We are vigilant. What would you ask of me? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Your orders, Templar. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Kas Narada. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Overmind is laid bare. The time for our stand has come. Indeed. My friends, this is our final hour. Not all of us may survive the coming conflict. Yet, death may be a blessing should we fail here. We seek now to destroy a foe that has ravaged its way across the universe, consuming all in its path. And now, it has reached the end of its long journey. The Overmind has come to destroy all that we hold dear, and assimilate us into itself. And I say to thee, this shall not come to pass. Ire shall not fall. Executor, I stand ready. As do I. Well, I guess all I have left is to see this through. The Zerg have taken everything from me. My home, my family, my friends, I know that nothing I do can bring those things back, but I'll be damned if I just sit on my hands and wait for the end. I want a piece of them, all right. 
I'm in. Then let our actions speak for us. For Adun. For Ayr. Executor. Tassadar. This comes too late to you. But the Conclave has witnessed your defeat of the Cerebrate. They know now that they cannot deny the necessity or the valiancy of your actions. You have not we enough sought minerals. to punish you. While it was we who were in error. You represent what is greatest in us all. And all our hopes go with you. Antaro Adun, brave sons of Ire. Wow. Does that mean they're gonna send some backup for us? You got my attention. Engage the enemy. Watch over 